So, along with the systematic persecution of Hindus, the Portuguese had embarked upon aggressive proselytization. But most people converted out of violence, avarice or fear. Richard Burton, the famous British traveller who had visited Goa during that time, had said that fire and steel, dungeon and the rack, the rice pot and the rupee had all played their part in the conversions. Entire communities, as I said, were converted by deceit. Dr. Antonio Narona, he was a former judge of the High Court in Goa, in his essay, The Hindus and the Portuguese Republic, had written, I quote, In 1560, there existed one church in Salsit. In less than 15 years, 28 full parishes had been established. It is known how such rap rapid conversion took place, some by fear of physical force, some from moral cowardice, some because they could not overcome the love of the country of their birth, some with their eyes on a lucrative job and almost no one from conviction. 